I'm a reviewer. Let the reviews be joined. Hello again, everyone. Your friend Dinobot here once again with yet another video review for you for Fall of Cybertron Grimlock. Uh, this is going to be, if you've counted them, I've had the, my original review where I reviewed the figure. I had the repro label review of them, and I've had a third review where I repro label, or excuse me, I reviewed the upgrade kit of the Iron Factory. Dino armor and rifle upgrade, which is, as you can see, is still equipped to my Grimlock here. But this video uh, got the other upgrade kit that I mentioned in my previous videos. The Zenith Forge Crustaceous, I'm pretty much probably saying this name wrong, Crustaceous upgrade for him. Uh, wasn't a whole lot to this upgrade kit, but I got it for a really good deal off a uh, Chimuchung, I guess I'm saying the name wrong, right or wrong, website. Uh, I'll post a link to that below. We can, It's an overseas website. We can go on there and you can pick up a lot of these, a lot of kits and upgrade, you know, parts and figures and stuff on there for pretty decent prices. Uh, I just recently found it and I'm actually pretty happy I did. Because I actually found out also that this the up, this upgrade kit they are not Iron Factory or excuse me not Iron Factory, Zenith Forge is not making it anymore for Grimlock, so I managed to pick it up. But the thing about it is is when I picked it up, uh, it did not come with its box or the you know the plastic for it. It was just it even says it said it in the sale for it that it was had no box or anything with it. But I'm um, I'm happy with that. I actually paid. It was like ten bucks, ten fifteen dollars less. Maybe, well, maybe not quite that much, but a little bit less than what it normally would go for with the box. But it still came with everything that it required, and everything that came with it was first this back armor for Grimlock. It's not very big, not compared to what came with the uh, Iron Factory, but it's still pretty cool. And there's not much to install in this, which we'll look at that here in a few moments. It came with these little small pieces that go to the shield that came with it. Because mostly what this kit is is a, just an upgrade weaponry for Grimlock here. Because a lot of people complained about that. Uh, well, we'll look at these here more in a moment. But that's what a lot of people complained about was the size of the weaponry for him compared to what he how they look like in the game compared to him and everything. But it also came with this shield, which this is the original. Substantially bigger, as you can see. I mean, great difference in size. Definitely a lot better to it. The exact same design, the exact same everything on it. Actually, it looks to me, I don't know if you can tell, but the, the orange does look just a little bit darker. If you can compare them. But of course going over this you can't really tell. But like this it could also be just the lighting here that I'm using. But it does it does look just a little bit like a darker orange than what this is. Uh, also this was the original sword. And this is the Zenith Forge version. Substantially bigger. Though the blade is as you can see a little bit smaller. The plastic, or at least the plastic is for it, but does still look really cool. It's a lot bigger. You can see the design's a little bit different because it, if you look at it from the side, it doesn't have the peg holes or the pegs here on the side that you would to equip it to him in dino mode or whatever. But it's still really cool. The little bit of a design difference right here where the the hilt here or the bar guard bar there it's got the little almost like a handle to it where this is just a straight edge but it's still substantially cooler i really like it also the little you can tell there's little get holes right here in the blade as well where it doesn't really it's got the same little difference here but they're actually filled in with plastic but I, I think it looks a lot better. I really do. I really like this, this sword compared. And you can tell, as you can tell, this one has been repo labeled with the labels on it on the sword. So that's why there's that little bit of color to it as well. But still, it has that. It also come with this this head. 
pretty cool little head. I mean, it's nothing to it at all. It's got the little holes back here for the screws, which I took the screws. I already took the this, the old head off, and I got the other screws set aside, the old screws, because I don't want to chance of losing them in this video. I'm just going to show you mostly how to put the head, new head back on and how it looks with it on and everything. Uh, I will, after the video, of course, screw the screws in to just to put them in there. But still, I really like this looking head to it. It's a little bit bigger, but we'll compare it more to the old head here in a moment once we get the old head off. But first, let's work with the, let's look, go with the back armor first. Nothing really to it. It's got the little color difference here. It's got one little peg right here, which will peg in to them real easy. As you can see, I do still have the dyno armor and then equipped. You raise, we'll just raise this up to show his back. And if you can see this little peg hole right here, basically right there, you take this and just peg it straight in that peg into that peg hole. And it actually fits perfectly in there. And also, there is just a, to me, it looks just a little, like a little bit of a difference in the gray. I'm trying to match it a little bit better. It looks like the, the new armor is just a little darker. Not much. I mean, I'm trying to get it to where you can see it better, but it is just a little bit different. But considering this is going to be in the back, um, I don't think a lot of people are going to mind too much on it. But you just push it all the way in and there it is really cool back fill I mean considering you have these which when you're in dyno mode this can you know they can flip down you can just unpeg this out flip those in and you still use it for the dinosaur mode I, I really like the fact that you can have this for back for robot mode and it still works with the armor and everything so you can keep it with a full G1 look where you can just fold this down and he still looks full G1S. I mean, I, I do apologize for his arms here. I got it. I can't get it to sit like that, but I need to get some little work on the ball joints there. I haven't yet to do that, but still, it's pretty cool. Now, let's next go with the sword and shield here. Now, the shield, as I said, it has two holes to it. You have are two little basically pegs for it. You have this one with the bent bent hand where you peg it in right here to the peg hole in the back the shield and it basically just sets it up where you can take it and put it in his hand which I'm turning it here you just whoop get in there which fits in really tight though the the peg for the the hole for the the bot actually is a little bit loose, so you can get that in there real tight, which ain't too bad looking for him. You can have him holding up his shield like so if you wish, or you can have it in the other hand if you like. But me personally, I prefer. Well, I'm going to display him this way. I want to take that out. You take the other peg and you place it in. Which this is just the opposite effect. Once you put that in, you can actually apply it to the side of his arm. Which to me, that looks a lot better. I really like that look to him better than I did the, him holding the shield. Because this way, I can still take his arm gun and apply it like so. It's still loose. I, I, wanna, I think I'm going to have to use something to kind of just fill it in. Heck, I've, I've even considered today, I've been considering just tr uh, cutting this off and taking this and like gluing it on there, but I may not because that, that takes a lot of effort and you have to actually have to line it up really perfectly on there to keep it on there. Granted, if I did that, I would lose the double gun deal, but who knows? Uh, yeah, it's just an idea I formulated for this. This way, I figured it keep the peg hole. I'll have a peg that will actually fit it for his fist and everything. So, yeah. But we'll keep that on there. And then, of course, we can stick his sword and his other hand. 
and as you see the gun falls out real easy because of it I was going to set it aside for the time being but there's his you know sword and shield added to him looks really cool again these this arms are just I gotta get some nail, clear nail polish on those ball joints is what I need to do for it but even with you know if I set it adjusted like it is it still looks really cool with him I really do dig it now for the head nothing to again as I said this has two little heads or two little screws as you can see it's already wanting to come apart on me uh, but you take the screws out and you just pop it apart and it slides right off and you see you just got a little ball joint there and I just want to stick this together so I don't lose because this is in three pieces actually you got the uh, light you know the light pipe in here that will come off real easy because it basically goes right up into his eyes and everything so I'm just going to set that aside you take the, the new head we'll just slide it apart and we'll just apply it this actually sits a little bit tighter onto the, the guy. I'm going to do it this way. Bear with me just a moment. Just so I can get this in there. There we go. And there he is. There's his new head. Well, I didn't compare to size. I really should have done that. Let me just pop that back off of there. I apologize for this. Alright, come on now. I don't have any fingernails, so come on, there we go. Come right off. I forgot to show you the size comparisons for the heads. Basically, just a the the new head, if you can see, which my finger's in the way here, there's not much difference between them at all. Same rough size, same just a little as you can see the new head's gonna be a little bit bigger or you know more out out this way with his mouth and everything but still it's a lot more g1s in a way i guess you can say or comic book s it depends on how you look at it but we'll just pop this head back on oh no again i apologize for this i don't have no any fingernails but We'll just pop this back together. Okay, come on now. There we go. And as I said here in a few, once I get done with this video, I'll probably just rescrew those back in. Uh, I, don't, I just really don't want to take the chance of dropping them screws in front of you guys and losing them. So, <laughs> but there you have it. I mean, this is Zenith Forge uh, Iron Factory Rupa labeled up. Dinobot, or not Dinobot, I'm sorry, Grimlock, fully upgraded. He looks very, very, very cool. I really do dig this guy. I've always been a big fan of Grimlock. Uh, in the comics, everything about him is just really cool. Just give you a little swivel around of how he looks with the armor. And the Xena Forge upgrade. And you can see the definitely good look here in the back with the the armor and the you know the back surplus for Grimlock. Very, very, very cool. But there you have it everyone. Uh, again, this is the Xena Forge Crustaceous. For, Crustaceous for, uh, upgrade. I can't. I apologize for the name on that. Uh, let's go ahead and stick his gun back in his hand, even though it's not going to stick too well. There. But he still looks really cool with all this on him. Let's set these up here. We can see all the extra stuff. But I highly recommend getting this. It it is tough to find. I've seen a couple sell on eBay for at least $30 minimum. I was actually watching one at the time when I found this kit on uh, 
Chimong, Chimong Mong, I guess is how you say it. Chim, Chimong Mong, I guess is how you say the, the name of the site. Uh, again, I'll post a link to that below so you guys can check it out. But it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, you can get some good prices on a lot of stuff on there. Uh, I highly recommend checking it out. And also, I'll note on that, on the shipping, this kit was 25 bucks. The shipping was a little more, so I was shipping and all, I paid like 35 Still not too shabby. And I was actually surprised at how long it took to ship. I actually ordered it on a early, on an early Friday morning. It was like, I guess you can say it was Friday morning. It was like a little after 12 o'clock in the morning when I ordered it. Uh, actually... This is, I'm actually video tape, video or recording this on uh, the 10th, which is Saturday. And I actually ordered it the Friday before last, which I, I think, I can't remember the exact date of that, but uh, probably like the first, second, around now, around then. But I ordered it then, and I actually received an email that following Monday that said it was being shipped out and expected 5 to 10 days. Or excuse me, 5 to 14 days. I'm thinking, well, if it's coming from overseas, it's going to take, you know, at least like two weeks. And here it is that Saturday, and it comes in the mail. I was like, cool, that's fast. But I was very happy that it come in this quick. So roughly, you're looking at, I was looking at, oh, from the order date, you know, seven, eight days, roughly. So that is not bad at all. I'm very, very happy with that. I definitely plan to buy from them again. I've actually saw some others on there that once I get situated with some more money, I plan to try to get as well. Uh, but that's probably going to be it for this Grimlock. Uh, you know, a lot of people are going to say, you know, well, you don't have the the double gun from uh, his gun that they've released. I think, I don't know who, what company did that one. There's another gun, like another upgrade of a gun or for Grimlock, but I kind of like this one. I mean, I'm, I'm content with this one. Uh, it's still not too, it needs a little work of some kind. I, I don't know what I'm going to put around there to help it out. So if any of you guys have any suggestions on that, please let me know. Comment below and let me know. But, uh, once again guys, this is Dynamite saying thanks for watching. And again, I'll post a link to the, the Chim Mung Mung website. And I'll post a link to my email and my Twitter account. If you guys like to send me an email or comment or send me any requests, Twitter, tweet me or whatever. But uh, like always, guys, please like, share, and subscribe, and even comment on this video. And like I said, like I was saying about subscribe, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Show me that. Show me your fanship of that. Uh, but once again, guys, this is Dama saying thanks for watching, and I hope to hear from you guys soon.